we've had to become innovative because it's forced innovation. You know, we, we're trying to keep the doors open and keep the lights on. The Modern Eater has traveled the roads of Colorado for years, bringing you the stories of the men and women who produce and serve our food. Happy people make happy food that make happy customers. From the peach trees in Palisade to the chili farms in Pueblo, the Modern Eater plows through the Rockies to expose the rising costs of food production and the ripple effect of inflation. Supply chain issues, labor shortages, and dwindling profit margins are plaguing small businesses everywhere. Three weeks and 1,500 miles on the road, you get inside access to what Coloradans are doing to stay afloat in order to deliver healthy food and tasty beverages to you and your family. This is the fifth annual The Modern Eater Road Trip. Buckle up, let's go. Wow, this is awesome. Pizza Club time right here in Palisade, Colorado, and we're at one of my favorites. It's Field to Fork Farm, and we're gonna catch up with Scott and Jeff. We've got the chef friends hanging out here, Chef Zuri, Chef James Doxon, Chef Jeff Jabot. This is a pleasure, you guys. First of all, good to see you again. Likewise, Hi. Likewise. Well, this is Pizza Club time. Yeah. Um, I gotta tell you, James, he, he asked you if he could make a pizza. James, your, your background's pizza, brother. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it, it's been pizza for a long time from George Eater, yep. you know, uh, uh, Giancarlo Macchiarella in, in Denver, and I've made so many wood fire pizzas, and I'm really excited because this dough feels really nice. It's a really well-made dough. Um, it's got a lot of spring to it, uh, soft, uh, and and I'm just very excited to uh Sweet. You get on pizza, going. we're going to talk. It's usually we're back in the fields. Right. We're hanging out and we're touring the farm, but this is a great, I mean, here's the farm store. I've watched this grow and build over the years, you guys. You've added this pizza club as well. These are really cool new additions, don't you think? Yeah, Thanks, yeah, we're having dude. a lot of fun with it. It's it's great because the pizza club is also like, come make your own pizza if you want. So, really? yeah, so anybody that's part of the pizza club, you know, we're just making pizzas, having fun on Sunday and... Um, of course, we'll make your pizza for you and you can sit in the orchard and enjoy a slice or a pie and just have fun on that, the farm. That's awful cool. Um, you, you guys have had the opportunity, look on YouTube, our YouTube channel or even our Facebook at, or our website. Just put in Field to Fork, push search and it'll bring up a lot of cool videos of the farm. You can watch that grow throughout the years as we're watching James make this pizza here. I'm learning. I want to talk to you guys. The, the theme of this year's road trip, and, and it's real, we're seeing it out there, the rising cost of food production. Um, just take it from there, you guys. Well, I mean, first off, agriculture, horticulture, food production is, is the only business that doesn't get wholesale in any of its inputs. Boron, fertilizer, stuff like this, it's, there's no sale on those things ever. Um, Historically, we've we've really enjoyed cheap fuel and, and cheap food in our in our nation, and you know, for obvious reasons, that's coming coming to an end. And and I, we really, we really need to think of it in a more European sense, to where Europeans go to the grocery store for a day at the most, or a meal, where we got people going to Sam's Club and you know buying whatever the hell they're mm -hmm. calling food mm -hmm. so that that's my attitude with it is that, that we, we have to change what we're doing we have we have to celebrate food mm -hmm. and, and and eat healthier I love it. better quality food. I, I love getting in the weeds with scott and jess and having these esoteric conversations because we really do dig down into the nerdy stuff so i see this division happening here 
of big production food and locally sourced smaller production food, which obviously, you know, you're, you're going to get better nutrient bioavailable food that's delicious and you're doing a local thing. It just, it, it really works out. And the rising cost there is different than the rising cost of food t going out of a community, going to a warehouse, going into distribution, going back into truck, and then coming back into your community. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and all of those things, they're seeing the rising cost with food that, and I'm trying to choose my words correctly. I don't want to say worse food or food that's not better for you. That mass produced, mass, we'll say. mass yeah, yeah. produced food. So you're seeing the costs going in both directions, but the degree of separation with people and farms right now, I think that I'm hoping that they're going to turn back towards that local, better family produced food. Yeah, we, we, we may see it out of force. You know, you may see, you may see this, this is the norm. You know, like I said, it, but it's still really challenging even for us on a small scale to endure like some of the rising costs. And we've had to make a lot of sacrifices as well in making choices of how we're going to serve, you know, our community of people here in Mesa County. And um, some of those choices are not always easy to make. Sure. So. What is your business model? It's changed throughout the years it, a little bit, but it, I'd love to hear what direction it, you're going it's, now. It's constantly. It's simple. It's yeah, just it's direct. It's a triple, triple bottom line. Yeah. There's, there's the planet that houses us all, is all our environment. There's our community, it, you so. and I, and the people in that, that sphere. And then there's Gitas, baby. Like if, if we don't have the money, the community, and the environment to grow, it's a business. First and foremost, it's a business. That's fiscal. Then we have the people, and then of course, there's there's the sphere, there's the earth we live on. That, come on, right? You know, that's it. it it's been that way from day one. Are you selling just out of the farm stand? Yep. Are you one hundred percent? One hundred percent. So yep. farmers markets, uh, chefs when they want to talk the talk, and we get into that, we're like, come on, and there you know is. what I mean. Build the relationship. Yeah, You're, but no longer in in kind of that food service channel. No. We, we don't ship to Denver anymore, and, and, and we've alleviated labor. It's the big thing. Is that it's it's Jess and I and, and our son. You know, like a little bit during some harvest times, we'll, we'll we'll rely on some some of the local orchardists. You know, the the workers here, but really nice. And and I, I'm not a good businessman in this way because you wanna. You don't want, you don't want to have to be in the mix. You want you want to what what's that business thing where you know not a the um like a hands off investment. Mm. You know, and this is the opposite of that. We it's not passive income. It, that's exactly what's for. right. It's not passive income, yeah. but that's okay. It's it's my income. I, I want. This is your this revenue stream. Is, so exactly. I wanted to jump into that. And the, first of all, these pizzas. I'm so distracted. That. Because these pizzas I learned I learned a lot just watching that. That was pretty. Awesome. So when we talk about um, creating new revenue streams or even kind of saving right money there, or but maybe that if bottom you kind line, of shift it a little. Are, are there innovations that you're doing? Because every year it seems like you guys, and you do such a great job of branding. Jess has done a, a wonderful job with marketing, there you building go. the brand, the field, the full name, um, the community that you reach through your email access, which by the way, I would encourage people to sign up for your newsletter. Please do. It's informative. We, we understand. It's a random newsletter. Yeah. It's a random newsletter but on our website on our um social medias so there's always something to learn yeah you know what i mean we understand the trade-off it's not just like it first. oh yeah feel the fork bro check it out no no it's it's hey are you having trouble with your radish this year Maybe you don't have a big problem in you know what i mean like it's education yeah and and, awesome. and that wake up good morning america that is how you sell product is you offer that, a resource or knowledge we all want knowledge yep. this is the day and age we live and so we really understand that so it's out? a great website great so, photos when i talk about you guys i say that they are unapologetic soil yeah. organic farmers it's all about the soil hasn't man. changed any no no it's all about the soil the soil is there's three places okay there's there's outer space we we don't know everything about outer space the depths of the ocean and a tablespoon of soil in your hand is we don't know everything there is to know about that tablespoon of soil. We, we, we don't know that. I mean, how long have we been walking on the soil and the dirt? Like, it's crucial. Wow, look at that melt. So when we're talking about Bravo. generating new revenue streams, this pizza club is an amazing, bright idea. Um, Super fun. It's so cool. What other innovations are you going to be coming up on the horizon? Any secrets um, you can tell us, Jess? So not a whole lot. I mean, we're Quality. Just, yeah, you know. 
we're just having fun, just growing food, and um, you know, we have done more like full diet where we're raising. We have like five pigs. There's a hundred broiler meat birds. We're doing, we have like 600 egg layer hens, and then there's 10 greenhouses and two and a half acres of market garden and three acres of fruit orchard. So we're just really focusing on like continuing that diversity and incorporating the animals in with our production so we're not having to bring outside fertilizers onto the farm and making a closed loop system. So um, that ties in with the biodynamics and then we do a lot of other things with um, making our own sprays and controlling our bug populations with beneficial insects um, and just no tilling, we're not tilling the soil and um, just so, taking care of everything. So you will so, say quality versus quantity. Yes, right? yeah, say, that's exactly that's, it. That's, like, I think in Denver and all chefs like myself are looking for something like that. A product that is organic, that is uh, safe the environment, that is natural and that is amazing and, and delicious. Like. Yeah. like your product right well, here thank and, you. and to put because you have pride in your food exactly thank put, you guys come put, again to put more to put more pride into Bye your you food, guys right through yes resources like this okay as we wrap up this session james that is a nice pizza manja i, I gotta it's give it pretty. Love it. Love but it. it's hard to mess up when you have good straightforward wholesome ingredients well, that's right the setup is here, amazing the perfect dough was made uh, you know this wasn't a difficult challenge when you have the right ingredients yeah like you said. yeah so as, as we're that's what day, we felt we felt like we have to do this because we have everything to yeah. make the best, to, you know, we have the pizza oven now and we have all these fresh ingredients that it just was like, let's do pizza club, you know, and um, it's just a club. You you sign a little waiver agreeing that your pizza is going to be cooked outside in a wood fired oven using fresh ingredients raised on a farm. I happily and join that club any day, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we're a part of that club too. So how can people join that club? Just you come. just come and, uh, you know, there's, there is like a little waiver that just says that you're agreeing to cook, that you're going to eat like street food, you know, like the best food that I've ever had in my life has like been in Mexico, like street food or Costa Rica or, you know, traveling in Europe and it's just off the road by the rain tra train track spots. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's just kind of street food, but it's, um, more European, Italian and there's the train. Get some good artwork there. We love the graffiti. We love the graffiti on the trains. <laughs> Let's cut the pizza. There's snot. This guy, oh, that uh, green sperm looking thing is called snot. Very long. It's really hot. Let's dig in. Manja. Grab some grab pizza, something. Chef. All right, as we wrap this up, Scott, Jess, look into your crystal ball. One year from now, what's going to happen in the food? Mm. What are we going to see? I think I hit up that in the beginning. Yeah. I think I think we're going to go to the store daily and, and for purpose and for life and for community. Yeah, catch on. Know your yeah. farmers. That's right. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. Love, love you too. Likewise. Bye. Bye. Bye.